All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Fill It Up mod, which was originally made by forum user Charlie Druitt. It has since been resurrected by, of course, none other than Linux Guru Gamer. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a much easier way to adjust the fuel levels of your ships in the space plane hangar and vehicle assembly building. So let's jump right on in and take a look at what features we do get here and how to use them. Now let's open up a pre-built stock craft file. And of course, normally if you did want to adjust the fuel levels of your ship, you'd have to go to each individual fuel tank and adjust it with these sliders as such. Which yeah, can be annoying, especially if you do have a lot of different tanks. So what if you want to adjust the entire ship at once, or even just a specific stage? Well, that is where this mod comes into play, and all we need to do to turn it on is head down here to the Fill It Up button, click that, and we're brought to this UI. And now, by default, it starts up by editing, or well, allowing you to edit the fuels of the entire ship. And it will only show the fuels that are actually on your ship. So you'll notice we don't have any xenon gas in here, and that's because this ship does not have any xenon gas. So it will only show the fuels that are actually available to be edited. And how we edit them is pretty simple. We can either use the slider here, or hit the E button to empty it, the F button to fill it, or even type in a specific percentage into this text box, whatever you do prefer. But like I said, it is editing the entire ship, so you'll notice I'm dropping the liquid fuel and the liquid fuel there. Well, that matches up now, and so does the liquid fuel in that tank, in that tank, in that tank, etc. So it works out very nicely. And if we want to change the oxidizer, there we go. And we can bring them all back to full. Now, again, this is doing it for the entire ship. And so, say if you are just wanting to take up empty tanks of a specific kind to a colony or whatever, you can just immediately drain all of those. Nice and simple. Now, we do have another option on here, which you'll notice up at the top is toggled by default, and that's ignore locked tanks. Now, of course, we can lock a fuel tank in this game, and by default, this is turned on so that this mod will ignore those locks and continue to adjust however it pleases. Now, if we turn that off, it will not adjust a locked fuel tank. Uh, but me, personally, I don't really ever use locked fuel tanks, so yeah, I'll just leave it on. But hey, if you do, you can just toggle that right off there and you'll be fine. Now, what if you want to adjust all of the fuels? Well, we do have that option here at the bottom where we can train the entire ship of everything. And of course, we have the empty and fill buttons for all, though no text box to type it in. But hey, we at least do have the slider. Now, again, this is for the entire ship. So what if you just want to edit a specific stage. Well, that's where this button comes in here in the corner, the Buy Stages button. And what this will do is change up our UI to show the current stages of this ship. And well, at least the stages that have fuel. You'll notice we go from zero to two, and that's because stage one is purely a decoupler. So it's only gonna show stages that actually have fuel tanks. So we have stage zero with monopropellant liquid fuel and oxidizer. We have stage two with just liquid fuel and oxidizer. Stage three with liquid fuel. Oh, no, that's still stage two I'm reading. Scroll down, stage three with solid fuel, and stage four if we scroll down more with more more solid fuel. And we can adjust these just like we were on the main screen adjusting everything, but now we have the option of just doing it by that one specific stage, and again with it by fuel or all fuels for that one stage. And it's just, oh, this is so convenient. I love this idea. Because say if you have, again, you're taking a specific cargo in your cargo bay, that just happens to include some fuel tanks that you're taking to a station or a colony, well, you can immediately empty all of the fuel from that stage, because hey, it's just dead weight. And it's very convenient, very nice to have, whether you're doing it by stage 
or by the entire ship itself. It's just a good, useful tool that'll save you a bit of time, and it just gives you more control over your ship, and who doesn't love that? But yeah, that's really all there is to talk about with this mod. It's uh, not exactly the most complicated thing in the world, but it is a great little piece of work. So if you'd like to check this mod out for yourself, which I would definitely recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description, as per usual. But that is going to be it for today. Day. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching and as always, have a good one.